In this video demonstration, I will show you the steps to create a DNS application directory partition. Then we will also see how we can set DNS replication scope using directory application partition. You can store DNS zones in the domain partition or application partition of Active Directory domain services. A partition is a data structure in an Active Directory domain service that distinguishes data for different replication purpose. So when you create an application directory partition for DNS, you can control the scope of replication for the zone that is stored in that partition. Use this scope when you want zone data to be replicated to domain controllers in a multiple domains, but you do not want the data to replicate to the entire forest. So you can create your own custom application directory partition for use with the DNS, then you can enlist selected domain controllers in your network to host replicas of this partition. But first of all, let's create one DNS zone. Select for lookup zone, select new zone, click on next, select primary zone and also selecting store the zone in an active directory. Let's click on next. Now here, this is the thing which I talked earlier about active directory zone replication scope. Now here you can see we are not able to select the fourth options to all domain controllers specified in the scope of this directory partition because first of all we have to create a custom application directory partition then these options will be available to us. So let's click on cancel and let's open command prompt. At the command prompt we have to use command DNS CMD to create custom application directory partition. DNS CMD space, you have to specify the IP address or FQDN of your DNS server. In my case, that is the 192.168.1.5. That is the IP address of my local server. You can also use dot to define the local server as well. Now we have to use a switch slash create directory partition. Then you have to specify the FQDN of your application directory partition. And for this demonstration, I'm going to specify the FQDN DNS application dot dot lab as the FQDN. Now let's press enter key. Let's uh, understand the command. Now DNS CMD is a command line utility to manage DNS server. This is the IP address of our local server and this switch we use to create a DNS application directory partition and this is the FQDN and that specify the name of new DNS application directory partition. You must use a DNS fully qualified domain name. Now let's use command DNS CMD space IP address of our DNS server and then let's use switch enum directory partitions and then press enter. That will give the uh, directory partition on this server. Now here we can see we have a total three directory partition. First one is a recently created application partition that is DNS application dot dot lab and the last two are domains DNS zones dot dot lab and the next one is forest DNS zones dot dot lab. Now let's coming back to our DNS management console. Now let's create new for lookup zone, select new zone, click on next, select primary as well as active directory integrated and then click on next and this time as you can see, we have the fourth options available to us to all domain controllers specified in the scope of this directory partition named DNS application dot .lab. But I'm going to cancel this console because in a last video we created Active Directory Integrated Primary Zone and that is dnszone.com. This zone is an Active Directory Integrated Primary Zone. That's why this zone is replicated with our another domain controller. And then we want that that zone will only replicate it with specific domain controllers only by using DNS 
application directory partition. So let's again move to our DNS server. Let's change the replication scope of this zone. So select the zone, select properties, click on change and select to all domain controllers in the scope of this directory partition and let's select DNS application.mprtv.lab. Let's click on OK. Let's click on Apply and OK again. Let's click on Photo Lookup Zone and click on Refresh. Now still, you can see the zone type is Active Directory Integrated Primary. Let's move to our another domain controller. Let's uh, restart our DNS server once. Okay, X1 Labs our 01 and if you click on refresh, if you see DNS zone.com, now you can see zone not loaded by the DNS server. The zone is not available on this server because we just specify the zone replication scope to only DNS application directory partition and this server is not enlisted to access that DNS application directory partition and that's why the zone is not available on this domain controller. If you want dnszone.com DNS zone data is available to this DNS server that time you have to enlist this server in the application directory partition. So let's see how we can do that but before proceeding let's see the property of this zone. If you click on change right now we do not have these options and that's why the zone data is not available on this server. Let's click on cancel. Let's click on cancel again and let's open command prompt. To enlist this server in the application directory partition we are going to use command DNS CMD then we have to specify the IP address of this server and that is 182.168.1.6 and first of all let's enum the application directory partition on this server. So for that we are going to use command enum directory partitions. As you can see we have a total three directory partitions DNS application .lab, but as you can see that directory partition is not enlisted to this server. So let's enlist that directory partition. And for that I am going to run command DNS cmd IP address of this DNS server and that is 192.168.1.6 then we have to use switch and list directory partition and then you have to specify the FQDN of that partition in our case that is DNS application dot mprtv dot lab and then press enter. Now as you can see the command completed successfully and the partition is now enlisted to this DNS server. Let's use the enum directory partitions command again. You can see we are still receiving non enlisted. Now let's uh, move to DNS manager console and let's restart DNS service once. Now let's come back to command from again. Let's run the same command again. And this time you can see DNS application dot .lab partition is now enlisted. Let's come back to DNS manager console again. Let's select the DNS zone.com, select the properties and click on change replication scope. This time we have the fourth options and from this we can select DNS application dot .lab. Let's click on OK. Let's click on apply. Let's select secure only. Apply and OK. Let's click on refresh and now we have the DNS son data on this server as well. So in this way we can create and configure DNS application directory partition in Windows Server 2016 DNS server. Use these options when you want zone data to be replicated to specific domain controllers only in your forest. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.